I never know where I'm going until I get there. And each group of, of paintings is, is distinctly different from the previous group. I, the, the last group, as I'm, I'm making the work, I'm, I'm continuing to, to, you know, look at clip art images and whatnot. And I came across a list, I suppose, of, of these, from my perspective, insipid daily affirmations. Uh, but at the same time, I, I came across this uh, translation of, of gang jargon from this police department in the Midwest. And I realized very quickly that these things that seemed diametrically opposed had far more in common than either would readily want to admit. And that's really what, how the, the, that body of work began to congeal. I am directing you as an audience into a very narrow range of, of responses. That's what I bring to the party, and then hopefully that also enables you to, to see your surroundings through someone else's eyes. I think it's important for, for students to, to, to be able to, to see that, that you know, art is a, a rather consuming thing that one does, and that certainly the, the research in terms of studio production is, I think it's important to see someone who does that as, as their career, their life's work. You should be living with art, not just your art, but you know, trading it buying it, whatever you, you do with those colleagues around you. I think it's, it's happened throughout the, the 20 years that I've, I've been here, is that there's always been that group of students who will go on to, to you know, permanent careers within the visual arts. That's, the, I think, the, the most rewarding part of teaching is when that happens. They become my friends and colleagues.